was because fire. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. If the body was still on fire. I doused it with water, but only the part on fire. The top. Okay. Oh, then I guess the sprinklers really did it. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7:30 in the morning. Or, and this is kind of going against my <laughs> alibi here. But the murder could have taken place after, or sorry, in a different place, and the body was just happened to be dragged there. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at nine. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from ten o'clock last night to seven thirty this morning, right? So there's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you. Any objections? The only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Okay, so I guess. All right. Kyoko's the only one without an alibi, which would mean that Makuro's killer is... No, I refuse to believe it. Kyoko murdered someone. M uh, Kyoko murdered someone? That's... I'd just like to say one thing. Alright. If you vote for me, and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. All right. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time. Stop wasting energy. You really think your little trick is going to work? Shut up, you. You got it, boss. Shutting up now. Anyway, all right. Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So that was her motive? She had a motive. It does seem like a good motive. Well then, I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. So far, yes. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet and say what Kyoko has to say on according to her account, because we can't just immediately jump into the bandwagon just yet. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Oh, shit. Kyoko, you're really gonna do this? Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. What are you... Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Interesting. I'm listening. Alright, so this is where the dead body could have been in a different area. Would have been. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. A tarp? Are you saying? Is that what you're saying? A certain something that get? Okay. That? Actually, no. That does make sense. Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, because the tarp, according to this tarp, hid among the other items in the tool shed. One side was wet and filthy with mud and grime. The other side was completely clean and dry. Wait, but that kind of still pertain to my alibi still, because, like, if if I would arrive at 7.30, that would mean, and the tarp was still on top of the body, that means the tarp would have still been on top of the body. Because I was alongside with Aoi and the others beforehand. So, I'm guessing this is the answer, but I could easily disprove that by saying, oh, then who moved the fucking tarp? Because, wait, hold on, where's the tarp exactly? It was found in the tool shed, exactly. So, and I arrived here at, uh, 7.30, so, that's my, that's my, uh, you counter tarp, to that. Aren't you? you catch on quick. You're right. All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. Wait a minute. Is the, the tarp is wet though, right? It's dirty, but it, uh, also it is muddy, so, actually, never mind. Yeah, that explains that it, the tarp was definitely wet. And the other side was clean, apparently. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Okay. It seems like you know who the killer is, then. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. 
The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. Alright, so it's covering the body, and the knife wound would pretty much lift the tarp up so that it can't be caught in blood. So I can see that happening as well. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Just to make sure that the... Because, assuming that I am the killer, that would cover- that would pretty much cover my exactly. alibi or something. So they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Damn. Why would Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? No, I can't think about that right now. The tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body, right? But I can easily counter that by saying, but the body was what? Something's not right. Exactly, I was with them and the entire time. I can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. Okay, let's go. I have an alibi, bitch. Let's go. What's that alibi called again? Before the explosion. I think it's before the explosion. Or it's body before the explosion, okay. By covering the body with Let me just check just in case. It was when the body was found, right? Because if the tarp was really there, then yeah. But the tarp. The okay, let me to get from getting wet. Okay. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty! Okay. I remember the body on- the blood on the body hadn't dried yet. Byakuya even warned us not to touch it to avoid getting any blood on us. Okay, that's another hint as well. The killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Oops, fuck, I pressed the wrong button, God damn it. Mm, yes, I see, okay. Oops, sorry. That's not what I meant to do. By covering the body with the tarp. Okay, so there's two explanations here. So the reason the tarp was oh, only dirty on one side. Only dirty on one side. Got that side with the underside of the tarp. It was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Okay, that side was protected from water. Of course it didn't get dirty. Of course it didn't get dirty. All of them been on heroes again. Okay, I remember the body on the blood hadn't been dried up yet. Wow, this case has got to be the hardest case I have to done with so far. Mostly because I'm on the spot right here as well, so... Okay. The body on the blood hadn't dried yet. Okay. Body on the blood. Alright, so... Body before the explosion. Doesn't say anything about that. Body before the explosion. Okay. The corpse had a mask covering, a knife and thrust on him in, and there were blood stains around the wound. It has to be the body before the explosion. Burn the body with the tarp. The killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp... I think it's the last one. Spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing uh, toward the bottom, oops. of course it didn't get dirty. There we go. No, that's impossible. The blood was there. It's still wet, so there would have been blood on the tarp, right? I still would have said that the knife could have. One side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it. Or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Yeah, since the blood was still fresh. The culprit washed it, so nobody would know they used it. If they had, they would have washed both sides. 
Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh, yeah, true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Kind of camouflage? The blood was the blood was camouflaged. After the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim. So this is where this is coming from where the arrows could also be the murder weapon as well. You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? I know! They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? No. That's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Right there in the garden. They got blood from right there in the garden, which means... Okay, what's going on here? Can you please tell... <gasps> chicken! No! Not the chicken! No! <laughs> okay, that has to be it. That's where the... Okay. I got it! Could it have been... Chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. But after the murder, there were only four. So you're saying someone killed a chicken and then covered the body with its blood? Man, that's messed up. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have. <laughs> Owie, I know that you love fried chicken, but please, we are, we're in the middle of a discussion here. I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. That is true. I have to agree. That certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. Beforehand? They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. Yeah, it was. No. Or... The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Then that settles it. Sorry, I'm having a tough time. Uh, you and me, oh, yeah, I'm a little bit confused here. Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off. But the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body. The coat they already covered in blood. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off, at 7.30. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But, to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. Yeah, just walk outside or go to the tool shed, right? They already had the coat ready. So they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. Maybe. But still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Oh, no. I headed off to the gym, and Makoto didn't show up till later. Fuck! So we didn't- Okay, so I still don't have that alibi. Shit. Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? God damn it. That's not- don't bother saying it's not possible. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. Damn. Damn, I just got wrecked. Okay, and the suspicions falls back on me again. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. Maybe it's gonna... I seriously can't wait until this chapter ends to see what the fuck's going on. 
This guy's dead body had been added to the truth bullet. Okay. Oh, thanks, narrator. Thanks for rubbing it in my face, goddammit. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. Yep. Kodo's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. Yep. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? <laughs> coin. 50 50 odds. I, would you really rather have 50% go on the unlucky one? See? Pretty good idea, right? No. But hey, I think, oh, wait, you're onto something, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. You know that right. knife we found all black and burnt? Found all black and burnt. One we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. Fuck, even more pinpoints on me as the suspect. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remembered. That's the same knife that I was kept in guard with. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? If, if Kirigiri really is the killer in all this, I gotta say, she is. She set this up really well. It's the knife we... You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just... I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious! Very suspicious indeed! The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto! But that can't be it because we got a game over screen and the headmaster, or sorry, Monokuma said we're not the blackened, so. Okay. I'm totally convinced he did it! 12,000%! Okay. This is gonna be a tough predicament. If I didn't kill it, which, according to the game, I did not, then who did? It has to be Kirigiri, or some sort of stupid uh, Machina X, X Machina, whatever you call it. Considering everything up till now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I did not murder anyone. I'm not the killer! Okay. Alright. Let's go into the next part. Time to make my argument. Here we go. Alright. Disguise dead body, exploding body parts, and body analysis, and fragments near the dead body. Okay. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. Okay. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? Oh, shit. So there's no question. Maybe the fragment near the dead body. That knife of yours and killed her with it. Oh, shut up, Toko. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I think I got it. It was not that. We've established. We've already established that the coat was put on the body after the tarp was removed. Which means that the knife was thrust through the coat into the body. The knife this is a flimsy, uh, this is a flimsy, uh, argument, but we got nothing else on the basis, so I think we have to mention this part. Organ exploded, but okay. Okay. So it's not the fragments next to the dead body. I might be a one step ahead or something. Disguised it, but wait a minute, what's this? Oh, hold on. What's the disguised it? Was that the recent evidence that we just got? Uh, later, they removed the tarp. They suspect the white jacket to be the body. This had been... Okay. It has to be the explosion, right? Exploded dead body analysis. Burnt the upper half of Beyond, okay. The upper half of the body remained in the f on fire and had to be extinguished. Because of this, the upper half was soaking wet. Well, okay. So it has to be the exploded body if it's not. Again, I'm not sure, but 
the way the game kind of mentioned this, then. Just because I have them, automatically low, <laughs> All right. So it has nothing to do with the explosion, I'm guessing, because I don't fucking know. Shoot. If that's not it, then what the fuck is it? The knife we found lodged in the pod. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. Okay, it gave to Makoto. I was afraid. If it did have that knife, that seals it. Makoto, just because I had the knife, that automatically well. Getting stabbed is what killed her. So there's no question. Oops. You took that knife of yours. What a horrible man you are. Okay. I'll try one more thing because we have one evidence which I don't think really pertains to the uh the thing, but it's the same one we can get to I don't think this has anything to do with anything. If they did have that knife, I'd seal it. Just because I just to make sure, just in case. Really? What the fuck is going on here? Okay, explain yourself because I'm completely clueless, clearly. Okay. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. Oh yeah, there's also the arrows as well, but I didn't see anything that pertains to the arrows. But oh, okay, well, be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Oh yeah, okay, so that is true. We never talked about what killed her. No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words. The victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? So, when we discovered the body, the knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. <laughs> Why would I do that though? The victim was stabbed twice in the same spot? No, there's no way that's possible. The exact condition of the body was written down for everyone to see. Okay. Oh shit, oops, I pressed the wrong button, but oh, okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> I meant to press the X button, but I accidentally pressed the triangle button instead, but oh well, whatever. Just to see exact description, but I guess that's the answer. Yeah, sure did. Totally forgot about that. And the knife was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. Alright, so the knife is not the murder weapon. We established that, right? Attention away from what actually killed her. That makes sense. As to why the disguise will be it. The body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden? Like well, it's been 23 minutes, so we'll be right back and we'll figure out the deal as to why the explosion occurred, so stay tuned.